good morning. Now, as you can see, it's an absolutely stunning day here out on the Mayen. Really is beautiful. It's about the third week of uh, third week of June, and uh, I'm out here doing another another day session. Things go well. I might take the time and do another session tomorrow, but uh, one day at a time. Been pre-baiting this spot for the last two days. About three kilo of blue oyster has gone in there over that time. And uh, seen fish activity here yesterday when I was pre-baiting. Just a little further along, but close enough. I'm just uh, I'm just 50 yards away from the uh, swim that I fished uh, the week before. And I uh, had one, uh, one 20 pound common then. So, uh, fingers crossed could have another one, or maybe two. So after some bad experiences with uh, cutoffs on the Mayen, I've spooled up this year with a uh, 50 pound Power Pro braid, and that's connected to a 50 pound uh, high tech Japanese uh, leader in 0.45, and uh, really, really strong stuff. Very important that uh, you gear seriously up to the job here. There are some nasty uh, um, nasty hazards, snags on the other side. You've got to be able to control the fish no matter what happens. Setup wise, lots of the French guys, uh, well all the French guys use pods to be fair. I've always hated pods. They're heavy, cumbersome and expensive. Um, I just stick with my bank sticks. I do have to sometimes uh, use a mallet to, uh, to get them in but um, it's very important that everything's absolutely solid. We've got some buzzer bugs on the, on the butts there, locking those rods in place. I prefer to use the Nevels here because they've got a roller for the, uh, for the indication. And um, I've got a set of Delkins, but uh, Delkins aren't recommended for use with, uh, with braid because the Ceramic V can, um, can actually wear, apparently. Bobbin-wise, those are Matrix um, uh, hangers. The dinky ones with an extra weight screwed on there, just for a bit of extra uh, extra drop. And um, they're, uh, they're, I've found them to be fine here. So today I've managed to find myself a little more space. Got off the towpath here, and uh, just camped up on the uh, on the border in front of this fence. A bit more room, room for a day shelter if I needed. Now, I might have pre-baited with uh, 3 kilo over the last two days, but uh, on the river here, it's time to put some more bait out. Well, absolute screaming tape. Absolute howler that was. I had to hit that rod first before turning the camera on. Got to be so careful that this fish doesn't go left. Seriously, got to be on your toes here. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't show you the netting of that one. Just had to walk out of shot here because this is where I've got to land the fish. But uh, he's in the net, and uh, we'll get him out and have a look at him. How about that for a bar of gold, eh? 18 and a half pound lean mean fighting machine. Went like the clappers to start with and uh, he came in quite uh, 
straight towards me actually so it was a uh, little uh, little action under the rod tip but uh, most importantly he didn't go left down the margin and try and uh, try and stitch me up in the uh, in the snags which is uh, which is horrible I've seen it done and it's not nice but uh, now after a really good spirited uh, spirited first run he came in not too bad at all he's uh, a lovely uh, lovely fish little spawning damage on him but uh, nothing really to worry about and uh, hook hold was absolutely amazing inch and a half back in the mo middle, of, middle of the bottom lip that was taken on a 30 mil blue oyster on the uh, on the stiff rigs that I made up last night so excellent start it's not even nine o'clock yet plenty of time to bag uh, bag one or two more maybe well that was awesome first carp of the morning really really is such a buzz catching these carp from the uh, from the river if you've never tried it it's going to take a bit of effort i tell you but uh, it really is worth every uh, every hour you put into it fantastic fishing so we've just had that um, uh, very nice uh, upper double uh, common and i just want to show you the uh, rig that i'm uh, using so that is a 30 mil hand rolled blue oyster absolute donkey choker of a bait but uh, it does the business I tell you uh, size 4 wide gape and that's de-rigged on for anti-tangle some um, some stiff rig material there 4 ounce gripper onto an avid flat lead clip quick link little bit of uh, tube over the uh, quick link just to uh, stop that coming off and a uh, bit of uh, bit of anti-tangle tube on there as well and that's it that's all connected to a uh, 10 meter length of uh, this uh, 0.45 uh, leader that I mentioned earlier uh, 0.45 50 pound incredible stuff really is takes an absolute pound in uh, and uh, yeah it's doing the business Well, that's the May end for you. Absolutely screaming take. Hit it. Oh, I think he's cut me off on the far side snag there. Well, no, it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the leader. All that held solid, but um, the uh, it's 0.45 uh, hook link. This stiff link has actually uh, has actually failed. So um, good news is the uh, there's only a uh, short uh, short hook link um, been uh, been towed by that fish you'll soon unpick himself from that hook I'm sure you got to be so quick here I tell you Again, I was right on that rod this time. Really had to clamp down. It already made it underneath the uh, marginal tree. But tightened down the clutch, kept it solid, kept the rod low. See if we can get this one in, eh? Well, 
<laughs> Here she is, 20 pound of uh, 20 pound of magic really. Beautiful heavily scaled mirror this one. Very very lucky to get this in. I had to cut the um, uh, cut the video short of uh, me playing that fish there. Uh, it went very hard left uh, up the uh, up the near side margin and um, was still ripping line. I was giving it all I could, but uh, I just managed to get it to get it close enough. It got snagged uh, snagged temporarily in some um, some brambles just for uh, just for a couple of minutes, but uh, somehow somehow it came out. I have no idea how. So, uh, but uh, anyway, she's mine, she's beautiful, and uh, a cracking day sport. Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous voulez qu'on vous prenne en photo ou... J'ai fait un vidéo. D'accord. <laughs> well, that's it for this this session. Uh, no more activity, no more, uh, no more action. Um, one or two beeps little uh, tip knock that was it um, I've seen uh, seen a number of fish show uh, about 100 200 yards further uh, further upstream so um, I think they've done the off basically so uh, anyway it's been a great session two beautiful fish and uh, I shall be back next week to have a go at some more see ya